hello guys we will see 2d arrays in c language 2d arrays are used if i want to implement matrix related programs or suppose if i want to store multiple strings i will go for 2d array to store a single string 1d array is sufficient if i want to store such 10 strings then 2d array i will use so if i want to declare 2d array in c language it is declared as int arr and there will be subscripts in the first subscript i will mention the row size and in the second subscript i will mention the column size because you can visualize 2d array as a matrix so though, though i say that it is a matrix the memory allocation will be continuous memory allocation so for this declaration it will allocate 36 bytes of memory since nine integers are there and it will be continuous memory so 2d array is an array of 1d array when i say arr 3 3 here row size 3 and column size 3 then arr is a array of arr is a array of three elements where each element is one array of three integers that is the meaning of that so it will allocate 36 bytes and these 36 bytes will have first 1d array second 1d array and third 1d array something like this now each 1d array is having three integers so i will draw three boxes in each of the 1d array now when i say arr i told you that arr is a base address so name of the array is nothing but the base address of the array and that always points to the first element it is the address of first element so in this case arr will point here for 1d array one element is one integer but for 2d array one element is one 1d array so a first element will be something like this this is arr now once i get the ARR base address after that if I apply ampersand I will move to the outer level of indirection and if I apply asterisk I will go to the inner level of indirection so here ampersand ARR will point here and asterisk ARR will be here so if I print all three values in case of 2d array ARR ampersand ARR and asterisk ARR then all of them will be same only the inter interpretation will be different. ARR means it is the address of the first 1D array. Ampersand ARR means it is the address of the whole memory allocation for 2D array. And asterisk ARR means it is also address, but it is address of first integer. First integer of first 1D array. So suppose I initialize this array with nine values. Here I say equals to one, two, up till nine. Then those values will be stored here respectively and I assume that address of first element is 1000 which is base address so for this diagram let's assume that base address is 1000 so address of this in integer will be 1004 this will be 1008 this is 1012 1016 1020 1024 1028 and 10 3 2 so this will be the diagram now I told you that ARR ampersand ARR and asterisk ARR all three values will give me the same output which is nothing but base address and in this case it will be 1000 so here I note ARR is 1000 ampersand ARR is also 1000 and asterisk ARR is also 1000 now if I if I want to fetch the value which is 1 here then I need to apply one more asterisk that means asterisk ARR is pointing here if I want to fetch this 1 then I have to again dereference one more time so it will be asterisk asterisk ARR so if I print asterisk asterisk ARR this will be 1 now let, let me calculate few more outputs in, in each of these values I will add one one element and then we are supposed to calculate the output so here I will write ARR plus one and percent ARR plus one 
asterisk arr plus 1 and asterisk asterisk arr plus 1. So what will be the output for these four printf statements if I print them? arr plus 1. What will be arr plus 1? arr is address of first element. That means it is address of this 1D array. So when I say plus 1, it will move to the next 1D array. So it will be address of this 1D array. So when you add 1, you need to check what is the size of the element. So in this case, 1 element, when I say ARR, 1 element is 1 1D one array and plus 1 will take me to the next 1D array. So it will be address of this 1D array which is 1012. So this will become ARR plus 1. Now, ampersand ARR plus 1. Ampersand, where the ampersand ARR is pointing in the diagram, ampersand ARR is pointing to the starting address of whole memory allocation. So, if I say plus 1 to that, it will take me to the memory location, which is after that. So, it is 1032 plus 6, which is nothing but 1036. Then, asterisk ARR plus 1 is the next value that I am supposed to calculate. Asterisk ARR, you can see the arrow here asterisk ar is pointing to this integer so plus one means it will take me to the next integer value so it will give me the address of this integer so this is asterisk arr plus one which is one zero zero four and last one is asterisk asterisk arr plus one so asterisk asterisk arr means it is one the with the value of the element plus one to that will give me the two value so these will be the output. So if, if we understand this diagram, how, how the uh, base address and other pointers are pointing, then we, we will be able to calculate the output for any printf statement. Now, as in 1D array, we have two different notations to access the elements of the array. There are two notations. Subscript notation is there and pointer notation is there. In the same way, here also there are two notations. Subscript notation, pointer notation to access the elements of the array. So using subscript notation, if I want to access these elements, it will, this, this is, this is row index, one, one D array is one row and one element is, you can say it is as good as column. So this is zeroth element of zeroth one D array. So I will access that as ARR of zero, zero, zeroth row, zeroth column. Then this is zeroth, this is first element of 0th row, so it is ARR of 0, 01, then ARR of 0, 02, then this is 0th element of first 1D array, first element of first 1D array, and second element of first 1D array. So I will I will indicate that as ARR of 10, ARR of 11, ARR of 12, and this will become 20, 21 and 22 ARR of 20 ARR of 21 and ARR of 22 so this will be the subscript notation if I want to represent all the elements of 2D array there will be pointer notation also how to calculate the pointer notation suppose I want to I want to print this 6 value using subscript notation then how, how will I print that 6 value using subscript notation it is the first row 0th row first row 0th 1D array, first 1D array and in first 1D array this is the second element 0, 1, 2. So this is the second element that means it is second element of first 1D array. So I will represent that as ARR of 1, 2. Now for this I want to calculate the pointer notation. So how to calculate that? We can calculate it starting from the base address. Right now what we have is base address say ARR. ARR is pointing here. So when I say amp ARR plus 1, where it will point? Since ARR is pointing here, address of this 1D array, ARR plus 1 will take me to the address of this array. That is OK. After that, if I add one more to this thing, then it will take me to the addresses of next 1D arrays. But I don't want to go ahead. Before I add something to that, I will apply star. So if I apply star to this thing, then I am dereferencing, I am decrementing the level of interaction. So now this arrow will point to the address of this 4. So to this whole thing, I will apply star. After that, 
if I add 2 to that, if I say plus 2, then plus 1 will give me the address of this integer and plus 2 will give me the address of this integer. So this will become the address of this integer is nothing but asterisk r plus 1 bracket complete plus 2. Now if I want to fetch the value, so I need to apply one more asterisk to the whole thing. So I will, I will write this thing as asterisk inside parenthesis asterisk arr plus 1 bracket complete plus 2. So this will become the corresponding pointer notation. If I if I want to access element, if I want to access element arr of 1, 2, it will be in pointer notation asterisk inside parenthesis asterisk again inside parenthesis arr plus 1 parenthesis complete plus 2 outer parenthesis complete. So in general I can say that if arr of iz is the subscript notation in 2D array then corresponding pointer notation will be asterisk inside bracket asterisk again inside bracket arr plus i bracket complete plus z bracket complete. So this is the formula to access the elements using subscript notation and pointer notation. So let me implement some code and we'll cross check all these things.